morning friends welcome back i am here so welcome back in pharma study so now today we will discuss about what is the physiology of heart so let us start the heart is a muscular organ of the circulatory system that is consistently pump blood throughout the body approximately the size of a clenched fist the heart is a composed of cardiac muscle tissue that is very strong and able to contract and relax rhythmically throughout a person's lifetime now what is the this is a basic di- basic structure of a human heart and few points indicated here is a, what is this this is a superior vena cava and this is a right pulmonary veins and this is a four main chamber which is a right atrium upper side of right side of upper heart and this is a right ventricle this is a lower right side of the heart and this is all called right left atrium left side of the upper heart and this is a lower side of the heart is is a, which is a left ventricle so and also this is here the inferior vena cava which take a uh, deoxygenated blood from inner side of the body uh, so lower side of the body this is also called the left pulmonary arteries which is uh, take uh, take away a uh, deoxygenated blood from right ventricle to lungs so this is a basic heart structure and now box diagram of the heart what this is a basic diagram how blood flow throughout the heart or into the body so this is the impure the blue line denote the impure blood or deoxygenated blood so the deoxygenated blood start from body and enter into the right atrium of the heart and then enter into the right ventricle and pass through the pulmonary artery reach into the lungs for a purification after purification of a blood blood become deoxygenated to oxygenated oxygenated and oxygenated blood reach into the left atrium of the heart and after reach into the left ventricle and then uh, through pulmonary veins reach into the whole body so this is a basic structure of the basic diagram of the heart or blood flow now what is the definition the heart is has a four separate component of a chamber the upper chamber of each side of heart which called as atrium which is a right and left atrium receive and collect the blood from coming to the heart and the atrium then deliver blood to the powerful lower chamber called as a ventricle the right 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 and left ventricle which pump blood away from heart through powerful rhythmic contraction and then the human heart is actually two pump in one the right side of receives oxygen pure blood or deoxygenated blood also called from the various region of the body and deliver it to lungs in in the lungs oxygen is absorbed in the blood or which is a purification of blood here the left side of the heart is receive the oxygen rich blood or oxygenated blood from the lungs and deliver it to the rest of the body so now what is systole the contraction of the cardiac muscles tissue in the ventricles is called systole when the ventricles contract they force the blood from their chamber into the arteries leaving the heart the left ventricle empties into the aorta and the right ventricle into the pulmonary artery the increased pressure due to the contraction of the ventricles is called systolic pressure and now what is diastole the relaxation of the cardiac muscles tissue in the ventricles is called diastole when the ventricles relax they make room to accept the blood from the atria the decrease pressure due to the relaxation of the ventricle is called diastolic pressure and now what is electrical conduction system the heart is composed primarily of muscle tissue a network of nerve fibers contra- coordinated coordinates the contraction and relaxation 
of the cardiac muscle in a drug of nerve fiber coordinates the contraction and relaxation of cardiac muscle tissue to obtain an efficient wave like pumping action of the heart and now what is sinoatrial node or sa node the sinoatrial node often called sa node or sinus node serve as a natural pacemaker of the heart nestled in a upper area of right atrium it send the electrical impulse that trigger each heartbeat the impulse spreads through the atria prompting the cardiac muscle tissue to contract in a coordinated wave like manner and now what is atrioventricular node or av node the impulse that originate from the sinoatrial node strike the atrioventricular ventricular node or av node which is situated in the lower portion of the right atrium the atrioventricular node is turned send an impulse through the nerve network to the ventricles initiating the same wave like contraction of the ventricle and now what is ecg so ecg stands for electrocardiogram and represent the electrophysiology of heart cardiac electrophysiology is as is the science of the mechanism functions and performance of the electrical activities of specific region of the heart the ecg is the recording of the heart's electrical activity as a graph the graph can show the heart's rate and rhythm it can detect enlargement of the heart decrease blood flow or presence of current or past heart attacks ecg are inexpensive non invasive quick and painless depending on the results the patient's medical history and a physical exam further test or a combination of medications and lifestyle changes may be ordered and how to read ecg so this is uh, the graph of ecg and few points p q r s t uh, occur here and every points has a very very important role and a, a particular meaning so what is the meaning of p wave this is the p wave here the indicates that uh, atria are electrically stimulated or depolarized to pump blood into the ventricles and what is the meaning of qrs complex qrs complex indicate that the ventricles are electrically stimulated depolarized to pump blood out and what is the meaning of s and t segments this s and t segment s and t segments indicate the amount of time from the end of the contraction of the ventricular ventricles to the beginning of the t wave and what is the meaning of t wave here indicates the recovery period repolarization of the ventricles and what is the u, meaning of a u wave u wave rarely seen and through thought to possibly be the repolarization of the papillary muscles so this is all about the physiology of heart so if you like this video please like and share and thank you for watching this video bye bye